All right, let's go. Observer. You guys can see it, right? It's not a black, black screen like before. <laughs> All right, thank you. Krakow. Lazarski, you there? Mm. Come in, Lazarski. Lazarski, you there? Left mouse button to interact with objects. Yeah, I'm here. You okay there? I've been hailing you for the past five minutes. I'm fine. I must have dozed off. No rest for the wicked. How's the dream meter treating you? Well, I'm not a vegetable yet. Could have fooled me. Hardy heart. I'm serious, Dan. Your signal's all over the place. Have you taken your meds? Oh, you get choices. Uh, not sure. Sure, don't worry about it. Or not yet, sure, don't worry about it. I'm gonna say don't worry about it, because I don't know. I what? will, in a okay. moment. Okay. Do it now. I need you in good shape. Press the middle mouse button to check your status and use Synchrozine. Synchrozine. Case log. Here's my drug. It's all. Yes. <clears throat> oh crap. I have my controller hooked up. I can use a controller for this. Maybe I will. I want to see what it's like with the controller. My controller started vibrating on the desk. Well, looking better already. Yeah. Wouldn't want me to mess up. Can you see the headlines? Another leech goes berserk. Don't be like that. It's just. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the controller. All right, screw that. Just checking in, or you need me downtown? Nah, just a checkup. No one left for you to interrogate. Sounds pretty bad. Yep, it's not pretty. The explosion leveled half a block. The place is still on fire. Corporate goons all over the place, securing the area. Corporate goons. Tracks, you mean? Careful what you say. This is a monitor channel. Who is this? Hey, Pwn, welcome in. How'd you get this frequency? Just started. Don't you recognize me? Adam? <laughs> yes. Well, what's left of me? Dad. What happened? Where, where have you been all this time? Away from Adam. You. It's funny. Thought it would be easier to hear your voice after all these years, but it really isn't. Come on, Adam. Don't start. I really thought I could pull it off. You know, I was so close to making a difference, to setting us all free, and now it's can't be for nothing doesn't matter tell me where you are I'll come and get you shit dad for once in your life just listen to me whatever happens I need you to remember you're not in control Adam can you hear me I can hear you you still there I'm here God damn it dad Matriarch, display caller ID. Displaying now. Krabinski. That's no. Matriarch, locate source of last call. Triangulating coordinates. Come on. Location established. Tenement building. Class C district. Jesus. Adam, the stacks. You just had to hit bottom, huh? I didn't smarty when welcome in. Does remember in Bioshock when we kept seeing fucking bottom. Kept seeing signs. It was like with Adam, anyone can be beautiful. <laughs> 
through Adam, all things are possible. Stuff like that in Bioshock. <laughs> I do a Delta. Yeah, we're just getting started. Spindles. Bunch of a Nine Inch Nails video? Yeah, I can see that. I do Nath, welcome in. I'm completely blind to it, so. Definitely don't let me know anything. Uh, so anyone that doesn't know, I'm going to be talking, you know, like thinking out loud throughout. I might ask questions that are rhetorical. I don't really want answers to. But if you're blind to it also, we can figure things out together, you know. Like American Horror Story. When did an Observer come out? This game. Let me suffer. Hey, Jair, how's it going? Welcome in. Like some Nine Inch Nails tool music video. Is that a rhetorical question? <laughs> no, obviously not. It's not a. That's not a spoiler. When the game came out. Join us now. Hard work and patience is all it takes to achieve a civic status upgrade. Science channels? I don't think so. I thought that was a pretty cool intro. Hey! Oh, hey, me? What's that say? Pollux. Overworked? Don't lose your head. The new Pollux personal computer is both powerful and uh, user-friendly. Catch your breath. Spend some time with your family. Let your ironic... Electronic counterpart, share the load. Share the load, Mr. Frodo. Hello. Weather. 100%. Where does it say we are? Let's say we're... I don't know. Let's go. Can't go in there. Impeccable sound recording quality, even under the harshest conditions. No. I don't think that's what Frodo meant to say him when he said share the load. Pretty sure. Share the load, Mr. Frodo. It would make for a much different movie. What? I was supposed to talk to this guy, probably. Need to get out. Easy there, Tin Man. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh. <laughs> that's awesome, Jer. Huh? So it's weird selecting these. So you can't, you have to point at it. Uh, what? No. Family. Family. <laughs> no. Tenant. Sure. Um, sort of. <laughs> Name. So we saw that his, uh, name he was going by was Grabinski. Grabinski. Leon Grabinski. Tenant. Uh -huh. oh. Apartment 7. Uh. Oh. Ground floor. Through the courtyard. Turn right, turn left. Straight ahead, turn right. Yeah, I got it. Backwards and forwards. Thanks. Right, left, straight, right. Oh, open. Thanks, half man, half... Not man. <laughs> Left mouse button and push the door. Whoa. I'm in like friggin' Matrix? Attention citizens. Curfew is you show her clips? That's awesome. Districts. Remain in your apartments and enjoy your chosen holographic content. Thank you for your cooperation. Remember this one? It's not half bad. Yeah, it's rated really well. Uh, it's not my apartment. It's my son's apartment. We triangulated the position of the call from my son, and it said it came from here, and we also grabbed his fake name off the caller ID. And so we said we were here to visit a tenant, and we told him the tenant's name. Oh, I can go in other people's doors, though? This is just another apartment. Whoa. This is weird. Like, I'm not sure what all this is. 
I think that's where I'm supposed to go, though. But look, it's all like... I mean, I'm sure the game is going to explain this, but... Yeah, my son's definitely going by... Uh, Adam's not going by Adam right now. I'm just going to go in anywhere I can. It said ground floor, right? Left. Whoa. That was a weird... See, I don't know if the glitches are... Yeah, the announcement channel on the Discord. Thank you, Phoenix. Monday night is uh, Outlast 2. That's the one after this one. This one should only take us tonight. Uh, if we don't finish it tonight... I mean, the goal is to finish it tonight, but if we don't, we'll finish it on Monday and then we'll start Outlast 2. Apartment 7. Here we are. We don't... <laughs> Yeah, apartment seven, yeah. Holy crap. Alright, so I can crouch the same as most games. It's control and it's a toggle. Press control to crouch, yeah, thanks. They come for us. Help me. You need to. Can I go through there? Can I jump? Can't jump. What is this? That's just a bottle. Oh, I can move the mattress out of the way. That's pretty cool. I'm glad I can interact with things. What was that? That sounded juicy. Oh, there's blood. There's blood. Adam? Oh, my God. Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Administering mild sedative. No, we just kind of started stuff. We did stuff. E six five six two one zero. Can anyone hear me? Great. My God, hopefully that's not him. Okay, Dan. Maybe it's not him. Doesn't have to be. Operational efficiency restored. Uh, whoever that was got decapitated. E six five six two one zero, setting up a crime scene. Press E to activate electromagnetic vision. Check the victim's compass for connections. Hold the right mouse button to analyze victim's compass. It says six million volts wasn't enough. Stun baton. H N got to start somewhere compass implants what's this victim is equipped with an ID mixer identification not possible all vision is electromagnetic rescue to activate biovision right mouse button to analyze objects you a no chicken champ right here this guy well he's not gonna be a third time champ that's for sure Blood. Yeah, thank you. Use both vision models to look for clues. Okay. Okay, so blood, no matches found. ID check failed. Body. Time of death. About an hour. Erratic cutting pattern. Indicating the killer was in a frenzy. I'm dead for an hour. Well, eating a delicious sandwich. Hey, Valentina. Yeah. Welcome in. The head was removed post-mortem. It's possible the killer took it. Motive. Unclear. So whoever this was, uh, was killed and the head was removed after they were dead. Okay, so we've looked at the blood, we've looked at the body, looked at the cuts, the head. I don't see any other biological stuff nearby. All right, switch to the electromagnetic thing. Electromagnetic. We saw the baton, we saw the implants. All right. What about this blood? Wait, can I inspect this whole thing? Collateral damage or evidence disposal? Cloud station server has been destroyed. Right over here, this blood. Yeah, there we go. 
Homo sapien blood. No match found. Okay. This is kind of cool, though. Nothing else I can zoom in on over here? No evidence on the clothing? <laughs> All right, let's go back to the room. Good lord, all this staticky stuff is gonna be troublesome. Uh, wait, was that a thing? Or was that like a clickable thing? I think it's just clickable, right? Yeah. Why does it keep disappearing? Oh, it's a closet. Ah, that's, that's why. It's a slide closet and I was trying to push it. There we go. What is this? What is it? Okay, there's nothing we can interact with in there. Slide that back. I like that you can interact with the, the things more. That was one of my big problems with uh, the second amnesia is you just couldn't interact with enough stuff. Hey, here's something. Motherboard. Can I take these things? Feels like I should be taking some of this. No biological residue in there. All right. It's going to take a little while to get used to the controls, too. Slide this last one open. Blood on the wall. Hey, look, a copy of 1984. Is that an Easter egg? There's the processor. No biological stuff. All right. Wait, I can grab that? Printed on real paper. Oh, it's archaic for you, Adam. It is not. Not the boss of me. 1984, George Orwell. It's kind of interesting that I can grab it. All right. Was this a separate thing? No. <laughs> Phelan. Thank you for 200 bits, Phelan. Appreciate it. There's no, uh... There's no predators in this room. That I know of. Thanks, Phelan. Man, there's blood everywhere. Any biological stuff in here? What's that? No. Okay, let's see what's in the freezer, I guess. What this freaking heads in here? Uh, okay, there's no head. So that's good. Looks like an apartment from Silent Hill 4. Controlled substance 45F, better known as Fee. You'd never touch this, Glenn. So, it's an illegal psychoactive substance called feed. Okay. It's the only biological thing in here we can interact with. Yeah, thanks, Phoenix. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in the cabinets. I'm just afraid there's going to be something. I don't want to know, you know? I'm just talking out loud, or thinking out loud here. I don't know how jump scary this game is. Like, some of the games on the list I know are jump scare games, right? But I don't know if this one has any. So it's making me kind of... You never cared about this stuff. Kind of worried. What is this? It's like a, a trophy, an award. Some sort. Okay. Nothing in there. This game seem uh, less laggy, jittery than the one last night, by the way. So I went and looked at the footage of the one last night, and it was a little bit, yeah. I think it was just the that game itself. The snow and all the shadows and crap were really, really hard on it. Five Nights, uh, I know that one's a jump scare game for sure. So this is, Collected. oh, okay. So if it's something you can take with you, you right click. Nanophage and I, that's a weird book. Okay. 
Any biological? What is that? Why did it say ignored? What? Yeah, let me crouch down by this dirty toilet. Okay. Always a classic. Uh, I'm so not looking forward to next week. Okay, so we've seen psychoactive drugs. Uh, obviously, the computer or the server has been destroyed. It's been, things have been ripped out. Can we grab that? Now that I know how to uh, actually loot stuff, can we take the hard drive with us? The motherboard or anything? I didn't see a hard drive, right? You are? Yeah. No, I can't take that with me. Okay. Okay. Any other clues? Any other rooms? I don't see any. Can we open the window? Human body. Alright. You just chicken? What do I do with Adam? I mean Lydia? Hey Cam, how's it going? I was eaten by a chicken, but I'm still in here. Guess I triggered the security system. Must be a way to deactivate it. A way to deactivate the security system and get back out. Okay. Back in. Did she have tentacles? Yes, but they were very gentle. <laughs> oh. I missed that one before. What the fuck do we have in here? Claw marks. I'm safe. Hey, Bon, welcome in. How you doing, Bon? Claw marks. This panel's busted. Signal must have come from somewhere else. Okay, security panel is busted with whatever the crap clawed it. Alright, uh... So, what is this? This is ignored. So we're looking for green. Oh. Can I take this with me? I didn't try. No, I can't. Can I take this? It seems like I should be able to take these things with me. But no, I can't. Hey, Bishop, welcome in. How you doing, Bishop? Alright, let's check this out again. That's the whole, that's one thing, the server. Ignored. What is that? Is that just the book? Does it show me something different now that the security thing's done? Oh no, there is something. Oh, that's the processor. I can't take it with me though. Wait, what's behind it? Nah, it's just showing the processor. For Cyberpunk, staying for chicken. Chick server, Observkin. <laughs> All right. Ignored, ignored. We already did that one. Here's the wires. Where all are they running? They're running into the kitchen area? Get out of the freaking way, door. There has to be some bingo. A keypad. Enter code. Oh crap. Uh <laughs> Thanks, Bishop. Uh kind of a long day. How you doing, Bishop? So I need to look for the code. Alright. Where? 1984. Let's try that. There we go. Ha ha! <laughs> First try. Okay. Uh, let's... Big parade, yeah. This is not what I thought was going to happen. Uh, crap. 
A glitch in the system. A brief history of the nanophage. Nanophage. So definitely some sort of... Plague or something going on. Downtown Inverno. Tragic accident or insurgent attack. Males. They know. Listen, I know you're a busy man and all, but we gotta talk. Now. I think they're on to me. For real this time. I'm almost certain someone followed me home yesterday, and today I saw this weird guy outside my window, just standing there. I can't guarantee you my safety. I'm out. Got enough problems as it is. H N. Hey, Finn. Welcome back. How's it going, Finn? As far as our little mule goes, don't worry. I can manage her. She's not like us. She knows she's in over her head, and it clearly terrifies her. You can't expect too much for a simple mind. For now, just focus on your work and leave the human relations aspect of our project to me. For the time being, calm down and maintain focus. Eyes on the puzzle. Or er, eyes, Jay. Glad you like the piece. I think it captures the essence of what we're trying to accomplish. Hmm. Dark. Thank you for the host, Dark. Appreciate it. Documents. Corrupted data. All of them are corrupted. Uh, anything that we need to pay attention to with a code? Doesn't look like it. Programs, open gate, close gate. Yeah, hang on a sec there. Let's see what else is on the table first. Good, I got a doll. Chicken suit. Well, I'm glad I can make you feel better for just a moment, even if it's to laugh at me. <laughs> Sorry, Finn, if you want to talk about it, by all means, feel free to. That's how things are here. But if you don't, if you want, just want to use the stream as a distraction, that's cool too. What's that? That looks like uh, the thing from the mate, like one of the things from the Matrix. All right. Whoops, wrong button. Open the gate. I've deactivated the apartment security system, leaving the crime scene. All right. This just doesn't feel right. You're still alive. I know it. Attention, service. This is a sanctioned lockdown procedure. There is no need for concern. The wait for the instruction. What the crap? <laughs> no need to concern. I don't think I will. Great actress of all time. Hey, Dark. Second night of our horror streams, you know. Oh, it's so dark in this game. Friggin' bird. Go away, birds. Budgies or whatever. KPD, I need to talk to you. Get away from me, man. I got a piece on me, and I ain't afraid to use it. No, you don't. Now, calm down. I'm just looking for some answers. Oh, I know how you get your answers. I got nothing to tell you. Dog, we're looking. It's what game? Average puzzle adventure. Good arc, though. Joy for a short game. Thanks, Noah. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, I didn't know what the game was at all. It was given to me to give away, you know, so... But yeah, if anyone ever wins a game, you know, no, uh, definitely don't expect you to like play it all or anything like that if you don't like it. I just hope people will try out the games they win, you know? Oh my, what the crap? Nah, this is pretty typical. In fact, this could be, for all I know, this could be any Walmart bathroom I've ever been at. All right, let's look for any, uh, electrical things. Let's look for any biological things. Yeah, there's some biological things that's saying ignored, though. Ignored. Yeah, alright. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, what's this? First name Damien Zakowski. A repo man. Class C citizen. Cause of death classified. Why is there a death ticket in here? Date of birth 
2007. Okay. And this guy's probably like what? In his 30s? Maybe 40s? Age of death, 30. Okay. <laughs> right there. So it's at least at the late 2003. Oh, I took that with me. Seven nights at Walmart. You've been in worse. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if there's anything behind the door. No. Okay. KPD, I need to ask you some questions. Do you know what's going on? My hollow projection got cut off. I, I can't get a signal. The building is under lockdown. No external connection. Not much we can do. Shit. Sounds serious. So, uh, you wanted to ask me something? This game already feels like a better made game than the one last night by a, by a lot. Do you know who lives in apartment seven? Seven? Yeah, no worries, Rose. I don't know anyone live there. Uh, hey, you wouldn't happen to know when they're going to fix the connection. Not that it's like super important to me or anything. I just need to know. I'm not sure if anyone even knows we've been locked in. It might take a while. Oh, God. Uh, I mean, sure, that's fine. It's just, you know, the apartment feels very small all of a sudden. Kind of claustrophobic. Uh, uh, is it hot in here? I'm sweating something awful. Maybe he's in a chicken suit also. It's going to be fine. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I'm just going to... Sit here and wait for them to. This is ninety percent of us when the internet is out. You talk to me some more. <laughs> Makes it kind of easier. No. Uh, what can you tell me? Well, what do you want to talk about? Oh, um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Gorski the Giant was fighting Killer Cromer today. You an AMA fan? Uh, not really. Sounds like you are. Of course, I don't know who won since my projector went out. Why are my hands shaking? True, though. You've been living here long? Oh, well, I... Uh, uh, it must have been at least seven or eight years. Ever had a lockdown before? Um, I don't think so. I don't remember my projector going off. Ever. Sorry, I don't have time for this. That's my only option as a goodbye. Uh, I understand. It's no problem. I'll just... Sit here, alone. God, I'm really starting to sweat like a pig. <laughs> Hang in there. It's true, though. It's true. It's like, ah, oh, the internet's out. What am I going to do? Okay. Any of this stuff clickable? Hey, you there. Come here, quick. Sure. What is it? What's up with the lockdown? Is it the phage? Was there an outbreak? I don't know, honestly. Too early to tell. I'm looking into it right now. Looking into it? Are you out of your mind? We might all be infected. You don't know that. Best thing we can do is stay calm and... And let them come and slaughter us? I won't let them take me. I won't. Thought about trying Kenshi. Uh, a lot of people have suggested it. I'm not. I'm not sure yet. I'm not against it, but I haven't. Uh, haven't really decided if I'm going to or not. I need to look into it more. But yeah, a lot of people have suggested it. Another bathroom. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shut. Ugh. I don't know if I want to shut myself in here. What the? It's too small to shut the door? Holy crap, you have to actually sit on the toilet before you even shut the door. <laughs> like, alright. Is there really nothing else in here? Huh. Oh, wait, what is that? Is that like a camera in the bathroom? No, that's releasing some kind of chemical. Maybe it's just oxygen. Who knows? What are KFC now? <laughs> uh, finger looking good. All right, I'm gonna leave that open. 
Uh, that just needs to air out, you know. I want to open this toilet. I mean, I don't, but I also do, and it won't let me. I'm just go smaller than that. It's crazy. Have you guys seen those bathrooms that are in the kitchen? I've never seen one in real life, but I've seen pictures where the toilet is actually, like, in the kitchen, like, down beside the sink with, like, a curtain. That's it. I just couldn't imagine, you know. You're over there, like, I don't know, trying to make dinner. Whoever you're living with is, like, six inches away. <laughs> Taking a dump or something. That would be very hard to cook. That's right. No, I mean, that's the, that's the only place they could put it, I assume. I doubt they're doing it because that's really where they want it. All right. Permit 10, permit 9. Hey, PD, I need to talk to you. You broke it. No, you broke it. Nuh uh. Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here. Yeah, what's this about? Do you know the tenant in Department 7? Dad, Tommy's picking on me! Shut up, snitch. I thought I told you to shut up! Seven, huh? Nah, can't say that I know the guy. Hey, Flokins, you have internet again? So it's a guy. Welcome back. Yeah. Hidden clock, by the way. I've seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? My son might have been staying in that apartment. I'm trying to find him. Well, why don't you tell me what he looks like? I'll let you know if it rings a bell. We lost touch. It's been a while. Huh. Sign of the times, I guess. See, I'm a family man myself. You shut up! No, you shut up! No, you! I swear, if you don't shut up this instant... Catch Fluffins. Yeah, I can tell. So, can you describe him, or what? Young, probably in his 20s. Medium height, medium built. He wasn't very... memorable. Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch of losers. A lot of... You're so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nuh uh. You're way dumber. Shut the fuck up! Not upstanding citizens like you. You bet your ass. Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep. I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through. We'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Yeah, Fluffkins. Yeah. You should show us. Good the Discord. With that. Yeah, he's moving up in the world. We got in here. Another uh, Neophage book, which is what people are afraid is going on here. We don't know what the Neophage is yet. Empty cabinet. I like that you can open everything. That's a really, I don't know. When a game lets you do that, even if there's nothing there, it just, it's so much more immersive, you know? It's a little thing, but it's so... That's one reason I liked the first Amnesia so much. I know I keep talking about it, but that was one of my favorite playthroughs of last year's Halloween event. It's because you can just grab anything. Like, in Amnesia, I can pick up that freaking can. There's no reason to, but you can do it. Alright, anything around here? Nothing that we haven't already interacted with. Okay. Yeah, I just like grabbing stuff. You know? Just something about just grabbing anything you can. Alright. Locked. Tomorrow? Yeah, I'll check it out. How you doing, Miss Fortune? Welcome in. Okay. Anything we can interact with here? Any like important codes on there? Didn't see anything. Oh, more drugs. Collected. It's mine now. My drugs. Nothing biological. Cameras friggin' everywhere. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, press the middle mouse button to hack. Zero four forty six. That'd be my birthday. I've been really weirded out because <laughs> first Adam would know my birthday. It's pretty close. Just cans of like empty sardine cans. All right. So maybe, maybe I'm not playing a game. Clear the game's about me. This is me in the 2040s. Can I open this? No. Cry worlds. It hasn't been an hour yet, I don't guess. You've been pretty lucky lately, yeah. Nothing in here to grab. Is that a friggin' pigeon? That is a screwed up pigeon. Clearly he lives here. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. There you go. <laughs> um, as you were. That was like a turkey pigeon mix. Probably what these degenerates have for Thanksgiving. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? I'm with the KPD, if that's what you're asking. Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts in... ever, I guess. Well, you've got one now. Yeah, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it. Put your body shaming? Hey, look! Computer with a K! Um... Who knew that Netherrealm in the future, the, the makers of Mortal Kombat, who replace every C in, in any word, word ever they can with the letter K, so much so that it kind of gets annoying. <laughs> they now make computers in the future. Yeah, I do need to play that. Door unlocked. See how I feel about pitches after that? Yeah, I need to play Perfect Date also. Uh, Pidgey, turkey pigeon. Voices from below. Don't believe their lies. The plague is still out there. Undelivered mail notification. Following message could not be delivered to one or more recipients. Content blocked by Chironet Firewall. Original message. My dear Annie, by the time you read this, I will no longer be among the living. The details are not important. Just know that I went out on my own terms. I won't ask for a proper burial. God knows you don't owe me anything. By the time the cleaners are done with this place, I doubt there will be anything left of me to bury. Jesus. Just know that, for all my faults, I've always loved you. Just like I loved your mother. When the disease took her, a part of me died that day. Simple displays of affection became a foreign concept, a painful reminder of what I had lost. It does not justify what I've put you through, but it is the truth. I'm so happy you've managed to get out of this hellhole and find someone worthy of your love. Wish you both all the best. Love, Dad. Oh. Yeah, I'll check them out, Fluffkins, for sure. Watch the stream. Hey, Cookies, thank you for the resub. Watch a Let's Play of this. Time to Flee in Terror. I'm liking it so far. I already like this uh, ten times more than that Colot game. Colot. Milk. Thank you for the resub. Love to see which is the milk. Data. With fire and sword, spiders. What? Yeah. This is how you know it's a quality game. It has other games in it. Get wrecked, spider. There might be something in here. Like, we should... Gaming games, yeah. Those bloody spiders again. All right. Get wrecked, spider. Oh, they move. He's playing this now, right? Yeah, man. Screw Observer. Okay, sword only kills one. Got it. This is tough. This would have made an excellent Atari game. Got her. 
Celeste has the original. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like that in Celeste, too. It makes me feel like there's something to get down here. Bloody spiders again. Let's see if it unlocks level three. There's gotta be a purpose in this. Get wrecked, spiders. Yeah, I like that in Celeste too, and I ended up getting all the hearts in it and not realizing. No, it doesn't unlock level three. That's surprising to me. Something that will actually benefit you? Yeah. Did we get all the ones in level one? Yeah, I didn't. Does it keep increasing your score? Guarantee there's something. Hmm. Interesting. It's pretty cool. But yeah, I really like that in Celeste too, and uh, it made me sad knowing. So I went through and got all of the hearts in the classic Celeste inside of Celeste. That is a weird place. Okay, it's 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 a fridge made into like a server. That's still really weird that it's like off the ground, but. At least it makes a little bit more sense that it's not an actual just fridge. Um, but anyway, those don't those hearts inside that don't count towards your completion. Or I, I don't know why I'm calling it hearts. It's hearts, right? Anyway, the collectibles inside it don't count for anything. I can't open this. Fuck. Remove your plants. I thought that was going to say pants at first. Oh, he hung himself. He hung himself. That kind of doesn't really mesh with the message that he left. Where he was like, I'm going to destroy myself. They won't even be able to know who it was. I've, I thought he was going to sh have shot himself. Uh, he's got his daughter's childhood bunny toy in front of him. That's sad. Yeah, implants. Yeah, I know. I said I thought it was going to say remove your... Um, your pants, but it says implant, yeah. Yes, I know. That's sad. Alright. Remove your implants. Hmm. Janet to let the door open. How convenient. That's the guy we talked to in the beginning, right? Maybe. It's hard to tell now. Alright, anything in these lockers? Nothing electromagnetic. What's that? Is that more drugs? Yeah, I think so. collected. Yeah, more drugs. All right. Anything other or uh, any other biological stuff we can mess with? More drugs. Synchrosine refilled. Another death certificate thing. Marzina. Uh, Gazil Gazilo. Senior corporate enforcer. Cause of death classified. Note: Suit damaged during altercation with a subject. Citizen class B. So this, they're a higher class citizen than what's living here. Whoa, things are getting like... How you doing, Darkstorm? Welcome in. If you're looking for uh, specifically which horror games we're playing, that's on the Discord. After this game, uh, the next stream we're going to do Outlast 2, however. How you doing, Dark? Can I interact with this? Now the computer, okay. The wall stands tall. Our brave boys and girls can you defend us from the eastern hordes. Request denial. Dear Mr. Jerkowski, while we are all greatly 
While we all greatly appreciate your exemplary service and the sacrifices you have made for your country, the VRI policy enforces a strictly proactive stance on helping our brave veterans reintegrate with society. Regular coverage requires a deed of permanent B-class employment presented to our representative on an annual basis. Your current janitorial position simply does not qualify. Given these circumstances, we must sadly deny your claim and are therefore in forced to terminate your participation in the program effective immediately. As of today, the Veteran Pension Fund will no longer cover periodic maintenance of your cybernetic prosthetics. We wish you all the best. Yeah, the Veteran Rehabilitation Initiative. This is an automated message. Please do not reply. Because the guy doesn't have a good enough job, he no longer gets help to pay for the prosthetics that he had. Uh, enough is enough. Yeah. All right, this has gone long enough. Veteran or not, I don't give a crap anymore. One more message and I'll find you and beat the junk out of you. My mother can no longer take this. She's sick of telling you over and over that her husband, my father, died 18 years ago. She's moved on. We all have. No one wants to live in the past to costly relive a tragedy. So, for the last time, Mike Jaworski is dead. He's been dead for a long time. Have someone type that into the busted head, that busted head of yours. I don't care how you do it. Just remember this time, even if it's a toss-up between this and remembering when to take a dump. Because the next message you send her will earn you a broken jaw. Consider this your final warning. Um, this reminds me, we get, we still get mail all the time, uh, unfortunately for, um, my wife's father who passed away years ago. And we still get mail every week. Ground floor. Okay, so this is, uh, the, the place where our son, we don't know if that's where he was living, but that's the place where our son, Adam, uh, called us from. Still see stuff? Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And it's been years and years. Of course. Two agents. Helena Novak, apartment 104, and Hannah Nader, apartment 106. Both on the same floor. 104, 106. First floor, 104, 106. I'm sure it saved that, but 104, 106, first floor. Okay. Ah, uh, level three. I'm absolutely going to beat all these levels that we find. Sorry. Rag spider. Whoops. Whoops. Oh well, we still win. But I didn't get all the coins. Alright. Let's look at this again. Is there a way for me to get both of those spiders, this one? I don't think so. All right, so we have to leave this one in a loop. How do we get both coins? Same thing happened when your grandmother passed away. Well, I guess she's ended up collecting all the mail for a solid seven months. All our tab them removed. Most of them were from two bulk mailing lists. Handwritten requests, rural letters, and it was solved. Well, level two has the check. Check mugs. Hey, Lobby. When is Adam coming back? Uh, November 1st. November 1st. Oh, yeah. I can get both. I just gotta... I can't kill this one. I made it! Alright, so we beat the first three levels. Good. One knife. If they were stacked, yeah. Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up, Hurtry? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, okay. 
All right, another one. Things are getting like blurry. Not blurry, but static -y. Glitchy. Things are getting glitchy. All right, anything else that I can interact with in here? Ignored. Ignored. Out. Jesus Christ, guy. No, you to sneak up on me, you know. Need to get out. <sighs> Police business. Police business. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what you are. Oh, yeah? Back during war. Took one alive. Sent for one. Now few. To get into his head. You fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this junk in you? The question is that. Hit our convoy. <clears throat> Borrowed through armor. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. Something triggered the lockdown. Mm. Trying to get it open. Implant bigot. We have them too. You think it might be the nanophage? You had any recent outbreaks? No. Last one. Long time ago, down by the river, all the, the implants. He's a close talker. I don't like that. Bad. The implants. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Close talkers. The nanophage had an outbreak in a van down by the river. I take it, Rudy's the robot. Multifunction service and maintenance drone. Don't lose it. Wonders of sometimes uh, need to track manually. Hmm. Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? Or get a message out? No. Keep people in. Isolate, accommodate, alleviate. <laughs> yeah. We all know how that last one used to work. What can you tell me about the tenant in apartment seven? Uh, uh, tenant? Yeah, tenant. How long has he been living there? Yeah, maybe longer. Not good with time. You ever talked to him? Didn't get out much. None of them do. All right, Tin Man. Yeah, not yet, Fifth. No, it comes back to you. I think the only VOD I have saved from XCOM 2, our legendary Iron Man playthrough, uh, is the final mission that we did where we took no, no damage on the hardest difficulty on the last one on XCOM War of the Chosen. Uh, I'm going to upload that mission, but I don't have the whole playthrough, unfortunately. All right. I'm heading out. Can you give me full access to the building? <laughs> Doggo time, he's like you. How you doing tonight, by the way? Fifth Lobby? Welcome back. Unstable. Unlocked. What I could. Thanks. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. Nasty? Uh, huh. Bad. Yeah, I really love playing through stay safe. XCOM 2. You know what? Or The Chosen was amazing, too. I'm dead. Uh, name Janus. Interesting. Like Roman god. Wasn't Janus the Roman god that had the split face? Sorry I gave you a hard time earlier. Good to meet you. Janus. I miss Marie. It is, yeah. Interesting. I wonder if he took that name after he lost half his face, or if it was coincidence that he uh you know, that was his name that he lost half his face. <laughs>
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking this button. It helps out a ton. And after all of that, be sure to check out the next video right up here. Of course, as always, thank you guys for watching.